guys welcome back to my channel my name is doshima if you are seeing my face for the first time i make videos from joss nigeria about beauty family recently my pregnancy journey because i just became a mom of twins with every woman with each woman each pregnancy is different so i'm just going to tell you my pregnancy experience and just share with you but before we get into that um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already consider subscribing join the family like this video if you like this kind of content so that I'll know that you do and I'm sure to make more of them leave me a comment about anything and everything that I will say so to start off pregnancy is a journey of 40 weeks plus or minus two weeks so if a baby is born at 38 weeks they are full term considered full term if they are born anytime from 38 weeks actually but anytime before 37 weeks they are considered as um preterm let's not say premature preterm the experts like to look at it that way so 13 weeks for each trimester give or take so the first trimester is 13 weeks the second trimester another 13 weeks so the first trimester should be 1 to 13 weeks second trimester 14 to about 27 weeks and then the, the last trimester, which is the third trimester, from um, 28 to 40 weeks. I did I get that correctly? But these first weeks or these 13 weeks start from actually start from the day of your last menstrual period. So technically, it's not like you're pregnant at that time, but it's just easier for the doctors. To consider it that way it's not like you're pregnant from the day you see your period you don't even know you're going to be pregnant but it's just that's just the way it's counted i found out i was pregnant probably around the sixth week around the sixth week here yeah, around the sixth week when I, I had missed my period for a couple of days more than a week actually i waited that long before taking the test so i realized that i had traveled I had traveled and returned around that time but when i came back i came down with serious cold like it was so serious it was very serious so much so much that i i couldn't eat much and i didn't think much of it because it was cold around that time around july but and also i i usually come come down with serious cold when i do when i have cold it's serious like so when i um, came down with the cold i didn't think much of it i just thought it was the cold and then i recovered from that and then i took the test and i found out i was pregnant and what followed was fatigue guys that was my number one serious symptom in my first trimester like i was always tired always sleepy my nausea also had not quite set in at this point it was later so let's fast forward to eight weeks or week eight that was when i started to throw up and it was so unexpected i remember that day the day it all started i, I had had um bread and tea and, and granules peanuts granules for breakfast and i took a lot of water because I was going to have a long day, so I thought to, you know, fill myself up and be prepared for the day. But what followed right after, I wasn't expecting it, I never expected it. So, as soon as I finished drinking the water, it hadn't even gone down. I started to feel like I was going to throw up, and then that was all followed. Everything that I had taken came right back up, and for the rest of that day, I couldn't eat anything. Maybe because I was too tired to even try, or I was afraid of throwing up again, or because my appetite also had been affected. So I just didn't eat anything. But that was the beginning of my throwing up in this journey. I didn't even know yet, but that was going to be a very long journey of throwing up for me. I initially thought it was because I was having large portions uh, and I, I cut down my portions, tried to eat little at a time, but just any time I didn't eat something that sat well with me or maybe my babies didn't like it. Like there's this bambara nut that, that is used to make, there's this moi moi that, that, that we use bambara nut to make 
and I really liked it. But I noticed that throughout my pregnancy, I, I couldn't eat it. Well, save for a few times that my mom was the one that made it. I don't know how she made it. I was different from the way I usually do it. But the, the times that I made it myself, as it was going down, it was coming back up. Like, I couldn't keep it down. So throwing up was... It became a normal thing for me. Even until I put to bed, until I delivered my babies, I, I was still throwing up. I noticed that very early in the morning, I, because I, I'm... I grew up with any morning mass, so I'm very used to going to church very early in the morning on Sunday. So by 6 a.m. when I'm brushing my teeth, I had to learn eventually not to take my toothbrush too far down, <laughs> down my door, stick it far, far down, because I always ended up throwing up. Even if there was nothing in my stomach to throw up, I, I initially used to drink water. Um, the first thing after waking up but because of that whole my because of my pregnancy i had to stop doing that because if i drank water it would only mean that when i'm brushing my teeth there's something to be let down <laughs> or let up so i was just used to end up throwing up and what throwing up one yellowish substance i don't know if that was normal but throwing up was at a point i got used to it because i would eat have something to eat maybe for the first time in the old day and I'll end up throwing it up. I'll just wash myself up, clean the whole place and not even bother with it anymore because I didn't have the strength for it. And at that point, I was by myself. In my first trimester, I was mostly by myself. So <laughs> the struggle was real. I was just existing. <laughs> really, I was just trying to survive each day because I couldn't eat much. My kitchen was, I couldn't. I, even my favorite foods, I remember one time when I tried to make Indomie and sardines, and I really love Indomie and sardines. No, no, no. Maybe because of the strong smell of the sardine, I, I couldn't. I threw up. Or, I and I had just a little, I ended up throwing it up, and the rest just went to waste. So I learned to stop cooking. Because after all, I was by myself, I wasn't cooking. I, I later resorted to buying food from the restaurant. I'll just get, if I was hungry, really hungry, I'll just get something, something little from the restaurant that I'll, maybe a takeaway. I think I did it twice. I did it twice. And then I eventually resorted to making tamba. It's something, something, um, you mix a lot of grains, guinea corn, groundnuts, weeds. Um, the tamba grains, I think that's called finger millets in English. Um, um, some, of, some of the grains, millets, um, yellow corn, mix all of those grains together and just ground them and I'll make them as, I mean, make it as a paste that I'm taking in the morning and it will keep me full for a long time, pretty long time. That was just too. Another thing was the metallic taste in my mouth. That one was, <laughs> it was so annoying. It wasn't causing me to, to, to spit up as much as it would do other women, but it was serious. So I had to always be chewing gum. I chewed gum to the point that, like minty gum, because that was what would help me. But it, my jaw started to ache, and then I realized that I couldn't do that much longer and i read up that i could i could take lemons instead i started to take lemons i was always i always had lemons in the fridge i mean at home so i would just cut it in two and start to lick the whole thing up and swallow you know, like drink it like orange i remember even in the taxi i'll just bring out a lemon from my bag and start to lick and i'm i'm i'm, I'm sure Every other person be wondering what's wrong with this one. Because at that point, my bum hadn't even come up. My bum had not come up. <laughs> it was... Every day, I would stand in front of the mirror and gauge it. And my stomach was still... One of the earliest symptoms I noticed during my pregnancy was breast tenderness slash soreness. It was mostly the soreness. My breast was always... Or my breasts were almost always sore. Like, I noticed it very early. That I'll just feel this cramping pain 
in my breast and at first i thought it was cause for concern because i never used to have breast soreness even as um ovulation symptoms some someone experienced it during ovulation i don't know if you experience it during ovulation or any other time in your cycle let me know in the comment section but i never used to experience it suddenly at that time i just said my, my breasts were always just very painful it was so painful i used to do some form of some little exercise like i couldn't jump anymore i couldn't do jumping jacks anymore that's how serious it was as early as that breast tenderness was a huge huge part of my pregnancy like i remember that it continued until well into my second trimester as early as 10 weeks i already had to buy pregnancy um, bras yeah i think that's what they're called i already had to buy pregnancy bras because the ones i had mm. I've watched up to this point please consider subscribing to my channel like share and comment as well leave me a comment i really love to hear from you guys my second trimester wasn't i think it was a little easy it was a little easy easier than my first trimester i would say but i like to consider this trimester as the trimester of the glow like this is when my pregnancy glow started i was still throwing up here and there although not as much as um in my first trimester actually i threw up consistently until about 16 weeks like i experienced the nausea and the throwing up and fatigue until about that point in my pregnancy it didn't stop i was looking forward to 13 weeks thinking everything wouldn't stop there but it didn't actually stop there the nausea continued till about 16 weeks but then it started to ease off and then i became a bit more stable again and i noticed that my skin just started to glow like around 16 weeks and then came the bump my bump started to get obvious at this point at first because i had already gone and bought maternity dresses from as early as 12 weeks 11 weeks so i was wearing those and i was just you know uh, <laughs> i don't know maybe i was taking my time trying to, to to take my time up to when the bump was obvious enough and then i'll start to wear clothes that will flatter the bump and be a lot more i didn't want a tiny bump you know <laughs> I'm just being petty but yeah but at this point second trimester my bump really did start to show and that was that was another defining moment for me it was like wow this is really happening wow wow I'm really pregnant my stomach is really growing so another very significant thing that happened in my second trimester or that happens in the second trimester is um is a feeling of your baby movements so i remember that i i i even logged it on my pregnancy tracker in my 18th week or on the 18th week the day i clocked the day my pregnancy reached 18 weeks was the day i felt a movement in my stomach and as a first time mom it was a little confusing at first but i definitely knew that that was it and then after then I was just <laughs> I remember the first time it happened it took days and days before it, but like I said before the second trimester is just mostly cruising man you're just mostly cruising you're just eating you're glowing you're feeling well there was still a little bit of nausea here and there but all in all I was feeling well I was feeling good and I was just basking in it so my third trimester was a bit hectic hectic but it was expected i had heard a lot about the third trimester so i was ready for it i was but by the end of my second trimester i was already beginning to feel heavy all the heaviness and the fatigue was already coming back so i knew that my third trimester was going to be quite easy i had braced for it i had braced up for it so and it was in this time i think um two three weeks into three weeks into my third trimester that i realized that i was pregnant with twins so the the shocking discovery and all was was quite you know a lot for me to take 
to take in at the time if you've not watched this video i'm going to link it up right here so you can check it out yeah the fatigue was back and we're back to you know having it taking in lots of taking more days off not being on my feet for too long and then my bump was just growing like it was growing like it used to grow every day and I would, as it grew that's how much i was feeling heavy and the feeling of anxiety wanting the baby to come already was also there so everything i think it was mostly just the anxiety and then around 33 weeks i think immediately i had i had reached 33 weeks i sprained my ankle i'm going to talk about that how i sprained my ankle another day but that also was quite a moment for me it made my third trimester even more difficult because at that point i was doing my last baby buys going around I, I was supposed to be doing all of that going around to do all of that because my husband doesn't stay in same place as me and i was trying to get ready for the babies and it was it was quite, quite difficult for me to be on my feet at that time because of my ankle so i can say that how i got by this third trimester was just taking it one day at a time and then eventually the day came because i was still throwing up yeah don't forget that nausea was still a factor in my pregnancy i was still throwing up and then eventually my babies came at at 37 weeks when i found out i was carrying twins my number one prayer point was for them to at, at least get to 37 weeks for them not to come preterm not to be born preterm and that was just it i was booked for an elective cs c-section and it was supposed to be 37 plus four four days that's seven weeks plus four days and that didn't quite happen they didn't wait until that day they came a day after they had reached exactly 37 weeks and i'm grateful for that the pregnancy journey wasn't an easy one first second and third trimesters they weren't easy but we're here now and we thank god we thank the lord <laughs> if you've watched up to this point please do consider subscribing to my channel like this video if you do and leave me a comment share to people you think it might be helpful to we're going to talk about my delivery story another day but for today i think we're going to end this video here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care